you have a pancreas and your pancreas is an organ right here in your stomach which spits out insulin every time that you eat carbs. Now, when you eat carbs, that means you're eating rice, potatoes, cereal, oatmeal, fruit, cookies, portos. And when your pancreas spits out insulin, that insulin is going to take those carbs, capture them, and put them into your liver and your muscle. And I know what you're thinking, you wanna stop this video right now because you do not have time for any of this technical jargon. But don't worry, if you watch this whole entire video, which might be 10 minutes long, you will once and for all understand the truth about carbs and you will never ever have to walk through the valley of despair that is called low carb diets. Check this out. This is you right here. This is you as a little German boy eating spaghetti. Spaghetti is a carb, right? Now what are carbs? Carbs are fuel. Let's call it jet fuel because you're gonna use those carbs to go work out and have awesome workouts. The way that works is your body tells your pancreas to go produce that insulin. And insulin is kind of like a FedEx truck. That FedEx truck is gonna go vroom, drive up to wherever those carbs are at in your stomach and go pick them up and then vroom, go drop them off in your liver and your muscle. And that's really the whole story. You eat carbs, your liver and your muscle get loaded with glycogen and then you go use that glycogen, that jet fuel for your workouts and you go make them gain. But what if you were to start eating processed foods like this evil fast food right here or look at this angry banana right here. Like I'm just saying eating a whole bunch of sugars. Well, in that case, you're gonna eat all kinds of sugars and then your pancreas is basically going to have to produce not just one FedEx truck, but one, two, three, four. And basically you're going to be overloading your pancreas and your pancreas is going to be very upset with you. When you do this, you're basically eating like you really don't care about yourself. And when that happens, it's like you're treating your pancreas like that girlfriend that you really didn't treat that well. Your girlfriend is gonna retaliate by doing one or two things that you're not gonna like. And in the case of the pancreas, your pancreas is going to say, forget you. I'm going to stop producing insulin, well that sucks, or I'm going to, instead of giving you FedEx trucks, I'm going to give you bicycles instead and you figure it out. So in other words, your pancreas stops producing insulin or it starts producing low quality insulin and you already know what this means, right? Insulin sensitivity goes down, then you end up with diabetes. And if you're watching this video and you know you are on your way to diabetes, people have told you, maybe your doctors told you, there are two ways to not get diabetes. Very simple. You have to eat like you actually want to live a long, healthy life and you need to exercise. Now the eating is by far the hardest part because the exercise doesn't have to be anything rigorous, just something basic. If you're not doing anything right now, go for walks and that's already going to do wonders. Now what if you were to just completely cut out your carbs entirely? What? Who would do such a thing? Everybody would do such a thing. In fact, here is my politically very incorrect theory slash opinion that you're probably not going to agree with. Here we go. With all due respect, you're a very good person, but the average American woman has a husband that gives her great fitness advice. Work out, eat clean, drink water, get enough sleep. However, the average American woman doesn't think that that's right. They think that it has to be something more complex or complicated. It literally could not be that simple, could it? So they hire the help of an expert. They go get themselves a trainer, which is great, which is where I come in. And then that trainer goes ahead and gives that average American woman the exact same advice that the husband gave her. So begrudgingly, this average American woman starts following the advice, but she knows there's something better out there until she hears from her friend or her coworker about this new diet, low carb, and how that friend or coworker lost 10 pounds in the first week. Whoa. So she was curious, but now she's intrigued and she does it. She lies to her husband and her trainer. She says she's following the meal plan, but she goes low carb instead. She gets on this low carb diet and guess what? She loses 10 pounds 
after just one week. Ecstatic. That describes her mood right there. She even texts everybody, poof, 10 pounds gone. But after those 10 pounds, the scale kind of stops moving. Not only that, her workouts really kind of suck. She starts losing muscle. She gets mood swings. She ends up worse than before, loses motivation, and then stops her fitness journey, cancels her membership, and gains even more weight back. The reason for this is because low carb diets are rarely a good solution to your fitness goals. Here's why. Your liver and your muscle are going to run out of glycogen within anywhere from two to seven days. Now, when they run out of glycogen, then you will be losing a lot of water. Also, do you remember what glycogen was? It was fuel. So you're also losing future energy. So you end up dehydrated and you lost a bunch of future energy. You're tired, you're lethargic. Once this happens, then the magic happens and that is where you actually dehydrate and end no energy. You start burning fat and that's what you want, right? That's what you're doing this for. Cut the carbs so you can attack the fat. Although, is that really what you want though? Because when you start using fat for fuel, then that fat is a very slow energy. It doesn't give you that mm, like carbs do. So aside from being dehydrated and lethargic, your workouts are gonna suck. You're also going to lose muscle because your catabolism goes up and your metabolism is gonna sink as well. Now, aside from that, low carb diets are notorious for being low in fiber. So it's hard to get fiber in. The worst part of this all is that your liver is not being fed any glycogen anymore. So as a result, your liver is being fed proteins and fats. You're putting your liver under a lot of stress, which is something you don't wanna do. This is why I'm not a fan of low carb diets. However, I actually recommend, if you are curious about low carb diets, go ahead and do them. I used to be an aerospace engineer. I'm just a guy on YouTube. So if you wanna really learn something, go put yourself through it and see how it works for you. Maybe miraculously, you won't get any of these side effects. However, if you do decide to go low carb, here are five tips for you to make it work better. Now the first step is to check your body fat percentage. The leaner you are, the less carbs you need to cut. Step number two is to take chromium picolinate that regulates your blood sugar. And then thirdly is to get your fiber in through green vegetables. Fourthly is for you to time your carbs wisely. So even though you are on a low carb diet, add in carbs on your workout days an hour before your workout till an hour after your workout. This way you make sure that those carbs that you eat get used as fuel. And then lastly, the biggest one is to add high carb days. So essentially start carb cycling. You got low carb days all week long. However, on your big lift days, those days that you know you're gonna have an intense workout, that's when you eat high carb. So this way, you'll tap into the benefits of using fat as fuel, but you won't lose too much muscle in the process. And that's it. The only real reason I'm making this video is for you to just be educated, so that next time somebody comes up to you and is all up in your face about low carb diets, at least you know what they're talking about. Now, I do wanna leave you with this. Average person watching this video is gonna have 20 to 60 years left to live. Those years are gonna fly by. Now, do you wanna live those years just eating steak and spinach and no potatoes? You're not gonna have any more bread for the rest of your life? You're not gonna ever have cereal again? Oh, shoot, damn. Look, carbs are not the devil. Bad food is the devil.